what's good, Scorpio? What's up? It's Unique Divination, and you are watching Urban Mystic TV. And I am here with your February 2019 reading. Hold on. I've got, like, weave hair in my deck. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got in store, what the universe has in store for my... Scorpios, ooh. Queen of Cups, beautiful card. Queen of Cups, let's see what's on here. We've got Gemini and Cancer on here. So when I see Queen of Cups, I automatically think of maturation on the emotional side. Scorpio, I believe you're water, right? Scorpio's water. So you guys can be extremely emotional. Um, and so for the month of February, this card is advising that we work through those emotions, right? Um, lashing out at people, just being all over the place. I don't know. I don't want to say bipolar, but just irrational you know, one minute you're happy, the next minute you're sad, the next minute you're cussing out somebody. So you're going to have to learn how to deal with your emotions and not put them out off on anybody else, Scorpio, especially for the month of February, okay? There may be some things that you've been going through with family members, all right? And it kind of feels like, you know, maybe you feel like they're not hearing your side. Maybe that's why you're like lashing out emotionally, but that doesn't help anything. So we got to learn how to handle our emotions on a, on a mature level, okay? She is the queen. She has wisdom. She has poise. She has understanding, right? And not only that, we have Gemini and Cancer on this card. Gemini deals with thinking um, logically, practical, okay? So that means maybe Scorpio, you're, you're, you're just in your head, with a lot of things. Maybe you're thinking about a lot of hypothetical situations, which I can't stand because when you go off thinking of what if, what if this happened? What if that happened? What if I would have did this? First of all, you can't bring back the past. All right. The future is not here. The only thing that you can do is live in the present moment. That's first and foremost. Okay. If, if are, there are some things that you just can't let go of that happened in the past that you did to somebody or somebody did to you, you're not going to get anywhere in life continuing to hold on to things. It's blocking you from developing spiritually and emotionally, right? And just overall personal growth. It's blocking your financial abundance. So let that shit go for the month of February, all right? Think about the situation logically, the argument, the fight, whatever happened between you and that person close to you, or even if it's at work. What happened where there was like a fallout or just a very great difference of opinion that led to you, you know, wanting to just not give a fuck about anything? All right. So think before you react. That's first and foremost. Secondly, we've got cancer on here. Cancer deals with internalization. Okay. You can't internalize these feelings and continue to hold on to them. All right. And that's the part of, of being mature. That's, um the part of growing. So instead of internalizing them, feel the emotions, feel them. You have to feel them in order to process them in order for them to be released, right? If you do rituals, I definitely recommend doing a ritual under the new moon or the waning moon to release unwanted emotions and feelings that you keep holding on to that, that are no longer serving you any purpose. You got to get rid of that shit. Okay. Wisdom. You have a lot of wisdom. Somebody may ask you for some advice this month. A few, a lot of people may come to ask you for advice, right? You've been through some things, and so you'll be able to help people out with your wisdom and knowledge. But let's grow, right? Let's grow. Let's work on our emotional development. Let's realize that we just can't lash out or have attitudes with people or just treat people any type of way emotionally because we don't know how to handle or process our emotions, so for February, Scorpio, that's definitely what you need to work on, okay? All right, this concludes your reading for February 2019. 
two links of importance in my description box, my GoFundMe account for my daughter. Y'all know I'm raising money. Um, so just go ahead and share. If you donated, I am humbly grateful for your support, right? Two, I've got a Patreon account where I provide a lot of exclusive content. And also I do personal monthly readings. Um, they're PDFs and I send them to your email monthly. Depending on the tier you get depends on the spread that I do for you, okay? All right, so Scorpio, I will see you in March, all right? All right, Urban Mystics, talk to you later.